Games inside out. Phil Taylor, Adrian Lewis. Pressure off Taylor. Is the pressure of Lewis to perform here because he's lost his best four? Yeah, I think there is just a tiny bit. He, he'll want to play well. He'll want to sign off with without losing again. And like you said, he's already lost his last four. And he made a real good kind of mid-season run for the playoff spot. And unfortunately, he won't, he won't be at the 0-2. But full credit to Phil Taylor. It'd be the, the finals night for the 12th time in 13 years. That is some record. His last ever group game in this competition, retiring at the end of the year. Yeah, it, it's just everything he does just seems to amaze. He's, he's beaten in this Premier League, he's beaten Gary Anderson, Michael Van Gerwen, and Peter Wright already. So they're the people he's going to be competing against next week at the O2. No one scares Phil. Fascinating set match this evening. Phil Taylor, Adrian Lewis, John Park and Rod Studio commentators. Yeah, thanks Dave, yes. Phil Taylor's 206th Premier League darts match. Won't be his last, however. He'll at least play 207, and he hopes 208 are reaching the final at the O2 Arena in the Docklands a week tonight. He's won 141 Premier League matches so far. They didn't beat Adrian Lewis when they last met in the competition. Lewis won in Glasgow. Maybe the Scottish air will suit him again tonight. John, and if it doesn't, he's got to get at least a draw, Lewis, to avoid uh, finishing at the bottom of the pile now after that uh, draw by James Wade against Dave Chisnell. But all the pressure off Phil Taylor now. He can relax, can't he? I'm sure he's very relieved and he doesn't have to worry about legs and all that kind of carry on. Well, Phil, he normally just worries about winning. That's his thing. He wants to play well, he wants to entertain it. In this venue, he, against me, he had his record average in the Premier League for him. It stood for a long time until Michael beat it. Which was here as well. Also here. Darts fly very true in Aberdeen. But Adrian, I think, uh, pressure's off really in a lot of ways. If you could just start, get a few in early, 
she troubles in early, you can find the form to make this an entertaining match with Phil. They, they sometimes feed off each other, Rod. Well, the rise and fall of Adrian Lewis in the Premier League this season is something of a mystery. He went on that marvellous run, five wins out of six, culminating in the nine data and the thrashing of Van Barneveld with 111 average in Liverpool. And then after that, four successive losses and not one average above 97, only winning nine legs in four defeats. Go figure that, John. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's tough to understand. I, I think I struggled with it myself, but... You play your best sometimes, some players, if they play their best when they're under tr in trouble, under duress. Then when they're comfortable because they played very well for a while, they somehow lose that focus. Phil Taylor focusing on 101 and now on 94 and now on 40 for an unorthodox 101. 61. He'd been hoping to have an orthodox 42 to leave 32. It's 20 and double top for a break of throw. 54. No. Maybe just a little too deliberate. Not quite attacking enough there. So, Phil, an easy chance to hold throw. but more precise with the second. It's okay as long as you don't bust on finding the treble 20. Well, it was not a million miles away from doing that, which would have been absolutely extraordinary. One can only assume that it slipped from the power's hand. But it doesn't matter now. I'm sure it must have happened to somebody sometime. A little slip and it goes in and you go, no. Clearly, you're not going to miss by that much under normal circumstances. No. He comes into the game with a tremendous Philip. Does Philip with that win over Michael Van Gerwen last week, 7 3, an average of a touch over 100. And as Wayne and Dave were saying, it goes to the finals. Having already beaten Gary Anderson and Michael Van Gerwen this year. And indeed, and Peter Wright as well. So he's beaten all the, the three guys that he could possibly be drawn against, John. That must give him a little bit of a shot in the arm before next week. Well, yes, and of course he's beaten them all in the past many times. But the recent history of having a win under your belt, yes, that helps a lot. A bull would help Adrian. He's already had a 170 this year, Adrian Lewis. That was against Michael Van Gerwen back in week four. Phil Taylor looking at 11 for double 16 for a 2 0 lead. 87, Adrian Lewis 25. Double eight to level it. Three, That's a perfect dart. Sort of, I have the feel here of perhaps another draw. Nobody really taking command of this. Both averaging over 100 after two legs. Uh, maybe the averages are going to start to go up because they haven't seemingly played that well. If I hadn't, didn't have the averages in front of me, I would have thought they were high 80s, maybe. 83. But quite the opposite. Oh, now then. Oh, Adrian Lewis now looking for his second nine-dart leg of the 2017 Premier League. Would be a great way to upstage Phil. Yes. For a second nine dart leg in the same tournament. Adrian, Adrian. I think even Phil Taylor would have been delighted to see it, just to be on stage to see that kind of piece of history being made. Oh, it's early yet, he might get another chance. 
a deserved ovation because it was absolutely magical until the ninth and final dart when it just went off in his hand. It's the regroup, make it a 10 dart leg. I want to start missing doubles and miss this great break. And 10 darts for a break. Where was that a minute ago, he's thinking. Rubbish indeed, Bill. Brilliant from Adrian Lewis, and this is what he can do. Well, unfortunately, he felt he had to switch there because it could have been his third scoring 180 on the trot. This is why Adrian Lewis, in full cry, is one of the great sights in world darts. That's why he delights and frustrates in equal measure because when he throws like this, you wonder how he ever loses a match. One hundred and seventeen. Maybe uh, he missed a nine darter. Maybe he'll just get the all-time high average or something. This is the place to do it, as we mentioned. It's like certain athletic tracks, fast tracks for world records, John. You, you may have hit us on, on something here. Well, you, know, you can do better at higher altitudes in certain athletics. Maybe it's the latitudes and darts. And that is perfect latitude and longitude from Phil Taylor. But it may not matter as Lewis looked for a second treble 20 to lead double 12. As I say in France, latitude c'est très important. For 3-1, jackpots. The top then. Ten then. They stayed there for double fifteen. And he finishes fantastically. Good match this job. Yeah, and they're feeding off each other now. They're having fun. They're enjoying playing a match, and they have an appreciative audience. All the good ingredients. And I think the more it continues, the, the desire is growing deeper into each of the opponents to try and get the victory. The more you put into a match, the more you feel you want to get the win out of it. with a missed double 12 for a 81. second nine data in this Premier League. Just a few weeks ago in Liverpool, he hit the perfect 81. nine, April the 13th it was. Well, Phil will be disappointed in that effort. He had the perfect first dart, I felt. And he only managed to get 85. A couple of weekly throwing darts. You always wonder about Phil's stamina. He's only playing these. He's doing exhibitions and shows here and there, but still, it's not competitive. Well, that's kind of competitive. Very unlucky not to have a 180. I would just see him with a three figure out shot. That was 110 as he looks at another. So treble 20 would start it, but it's not going to happen, and Phil should comfortably hold. Adrian will put the pressure on him, though. He's down to 73, so treble 19. 93. 63, excuse me. Yeah, so he went treble 13. Phil knows exactly what he needs. It stops. Might be blocking. Needs to get it to the right. 18. Well, he's opened the door to Jackpot. For a break, he wants tops. He cans it. Lewis leads once more. He gains his advantage. The 10 dart leg, the third leg, put him in front at 2 1. And there, the break after two missed darts at double by Phil Taylor.
100. Well, a 10 point spread in the averages in Lewis's favour 108 playing 98. 85. The lazy dart on the third effort there is, leaves an opening for Phil to punish that. Phil laboring himself after the first start once again. Well, we've got the power in Scotland. And they're seeing the flower of Scotland. It's Gary Anderson. They've come to see tonight, though. John, isn't it? Anderson against Michael Van Gerwen. Bringing the curtain down on the regular season in the Premier League, and Peter stayed by it right. Up in action against Barney next. Could lead 82. 140. He's 1 2 2. It puts him first to a finish. Good adjustment from Phil. Means he'll have a decent opportunity should Lewis fail at 1 2 2. No 18s. Stay there. It's the ball. And it's there. Adrian Lewis 4 2 ahead now. Problems for Phil Taylor. At least inside of this match. Power's dignity and threat. Well, Adrian Lewis, yeah, looking for a, a league double, a Premier League double over Phil Taylor in 2017. And already won in Glasgow. Phil Taylor doesn't have to win this darts match. Knows he's already throw through to the uh, the O2. And uh, I think he's enjoying the evening. 4-2 behind a lot more than he would be enjoying it, John, if he had to win from 4-2 behind. 96. Well, I, he's wildly. I, I believe he wants to win and he still feels he has to win. You don't want to enter in the finals week off a loss back of a loss whether you needed to win or not which certainly puts our last match into an interesting light when you consider that although it doesn't really matter who wins between michael and gary anderson there's a psychological, a psychological value to it which can't be beat 12 double 16 second three figure finish Narrowly misses this one. Opens the door to Lewis here. We've seen a 1 2 2 on the ball. Now a 1 2 1 on offer on the ball. Yes, the ball. Back to back balls. 96. Yeah, missed that 170 on the ball. Good adjustment from Phil. Holds his throw. Not the strongest of starts, but how badly does Phil want this? 78. A little bit of a lack of focus showing there. As he winged his last start down to the trouble 19 successfully, but a bit, a bit of frustration showing it. almost as, as if after all these years of playing darts, Phil Taylor just can't wait for next week to start, because he knows he's in now. Yeah. Only once as he failed to 
Asia finals. Last year beaten in the final by Michael Van Gerwen. Did he fail or were four people more successful? Well, if you ask him, he failed. Oh, right, yeah. That's what it, it, it felt like a failure for sure. Well, a leveling chance for Phil Taylor if Lewis doesn't go out on 114. And look to leave a Trudata here. Now, Rod, this is the most unforgiving of darts competitions in the world. It's ruthless. Talking of ruthless, John. Adrian Lewis compiles his second three figure out shot of the night, and he now leads 5 3. What an answer! And although he doesn't need to get a victory, just perhaps he might like to get a nine after the effort from young Adrian. Well, young in comparison to Phil. <laughs> young in comparison to me as well. Dude. Taylor, the possible, possible ten down, which would be the second of the match. And he won't go for it at this point. Oh, he did. <laughs> he was going for the 54 to leave ball. The impudence. And it'll be 11 darts. At best now for Phil Taylor, but that won't be too much of a concern to him because he's got plenty of time on his side here to get back within one. For an 11 data, lovely leg, lovely leg of darts there from the power, controlled from the start. And now Lewis looking to hold to go back in front by two once more. Taylor needs to find a break in one of these next two legs in which Adrian Lewis starts. This is the, the time. Only a 60 star from Lewis, but not much punishment from a 99. Things not going well lately for Adrian. And with the great start in this match, he's somewhat lost the plot. Adrian, or sorry, Phil being welcomed back in. More and more likely the draw scenario. Phil can get the break back the throw here. I'm not sure who they want to see. It's probably Scottish. Well, he persisted despite the line not being absolutely perfect. And that really is a sloppy one from Phil Taylor. Maybe costly. Or well, maybe not. Maybe not. Adrian Lewis averaging 110 plus early on in the piece. Now down under a ton. So his form has dropped away. 16. But there, I mean, Phil didn't leave a finish, so Adrian could. Produce a good turn or two. We can take this 250 out, but it's not. Man, it's not even if we get to a finish. Bit of bad luck, and bad luck follows bad form. All the truth in making your luck. couple of turns here in the context of the match One, both players now on a two dark combination One, Taylor would first crack at it to level up with a break yeah, the difference is Phil needs a treble oh, there it is double nine 
69. Adrian Uruguay, 70. Chance is gone. Lewis will have one dart. The tops. 30. From Uruguay, Gunning. Safely into the single one, so double four. Double two. Game show the ten flag. I was going to say, right? I'm sort of getting nervy, but there isn't really anything to get nervy about. No. <laughs> no. Will Taylor safely through. Edwin Lewis can't qualify. Adrian's effort to avoid finishing eighth is uh, in question. He has to win one of these last two legs. With you. Highlighted the possibility of a draw very early on in the match, John. And now, not looking at possibility, looking at probability. I just love the irony of a night when everything's supposed to get decided where nothing could be decided <laughs> <laughs> in a way We've seen one draw tonight already between James Wade and Dave Chisnell Chisnell having to stage a rally to even pick up a point and That outcome eliminated him 85 Still looking very good to hold throw here. It's not much to ask to take out one, eight, five, and six starts. But for the same reason, Phil must make sure he hits it next turn because Adrian should leave himself fine as well. One hundred for the required forty-five. Choice of double. I'd imagine it'll be double sixteen. And it is. And it's in. So Phil Taylor secures at least a point. He goes 6-5 up. That's the first time he's led since he was 1-0 up. And now he looks to break Lewis to pick up both points. 96. Ninety-six is there to be punished. And instinctually, I think Phil will pressure this leg. Pressure Adrian Lewis. It's just how he's built as a competitor. It's instinct for him. Go for the throat. Adrian Lewis led 5 3. Which meant in order to win, Phil Taylor had to win four legs straight. He's won three of them. And now his favorite to. Make four on the drop. Well, he came back from 4 0 down against Gary Anderson himself a matter of weeks ago. It's not something that Phil's had to do much of his career, is to come from behind. <laughs> He's always been ahead. Well, that gives Phil Taylor. More comfort. Lewis has missed a 117 tonight. A ball, that's it. It's the ball. 97. 800 pound, 170. He might get another chance to get a point for a draw ball. 129. Will it require business here? Well, he's missed double 12 for a nine dart. He's missed the bull twice for a 170. But Phil Taylor wants double 16 for the win. And he does win. Phil Taylor wraps up his last regular season in the Premier League with a come from behind victory over Adrian Jackpot Lewis. Taylor came from 5 3 behind to win 7 5. He was already through to finals night anyway, but he underlines his qualification with that 7 5 success.
engrossing match between Phil Saylor and Adrian Lewis. 5-3 down, Taylor. A near nine data from Adrian Lewis. But Taylor wins the last four legs. The 7-5 winner. Philip Howe Taylor books his place at the 0-2, beating Adrian Lewis 7-5. Coming next, Peter Snake by Rice against Raymond Van Barneveld. And rounding off the night, mighty Michael Van Gerwen against Gary Anderson. League table, interesting reading. Phil Taylor leapfrogs Gary Anderson into third position. Adrian Lewis, foot of the table. Gary Anderson needs a draw in the final match of the evening to secure third spot. Phil Taylor talking to Rodster. But for you, though, it's, it's through to the O2 uh, Arena next week. And that's going to be the swan song you want. I know you want to go out with a big win as well. It's massive for me. To get to the O2 was brilliant anyway. I mean, everything's a bonus for me now. So if I get, I get through and I win, if I don't, it's not the end of the world. You know, it's, it's, I've done it six times. I thought it was five. Bob reminded me on it was six. So if I win, I'm going to try. Trust me, I'm going to get ready. So here we go. You've beaten all the players, any of the players you can play this year, Peter Wright, Mark Van Gerwen and, and Gary Anderson, so that'll give you a bit of confidence. But just tell me, how, how emotional do you think you're going to be down there? Emotional? Yeah. I've got a massive smile on my face. I can't wait, honestly. Everybody, even Ronnie O'Sullivan phoned me last week and said, Phil, what are you going to do when you retire? I'm going to work, I'm going to do all the things that I've never done before for 30 years. It, it like, it's like being in prison in a way, because, you, you know, you, you're locked to your career. I've been very dedicated for 30 years and it's time now for me to move on we had a meeting with Barry last Friday and he agrees it's time for me to just go away now and let, let other people you can have next year in the Premier League I don't know gaming, gaming prize probably Michael Smith Yellow Klassen Michael Van Gerwen you know there's going to be well say new faces but you're going to get new faces in the Premier League now and it's going to be fun to watch I'm looking forward to watching it anyway I was going to cancel Sky at the end of the year. I'm going to keep it now. Good, I'm glad to hear that. And we're looking forward to watching you again uh, next week at the O2. But, Tom, I mean, for a competitor like you, the fiercest competitor in darts, you're not going there just to make up the numbers. You're going there to win. Next week in the O2? Yeah. Am I ever? And I'm going to Dubai the week after to win as well. Whatever I play in now to the end of the year, that's it. I can't win another title. So if I can go out there and win seven match, you know, uh, uh, Premier League titles, brilliant. If I can go to the wheel, match play and win another one, even better, do you know what I mean? Because that's my favourite, so that'll be me, me... I think the match play is the one where I'll be more, I'm going to say, emotional than anything. The World Championships is the Worlds, but it hasn't got the same emotional pull for me as the, as the match play. Good luck. Another treat from you tonight. Look forward to seeing you play next week. Thanks, Phil. And I'll miss Wayne Mardell as well. You're laughing again, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing at that. Betway sponsors Premier League Darts on Sky Sports.